The juncture between entertainment and controversy has perpetually held a captivating allure in Hollywood. However, only a few incidents have managed to seize the attention of both critics and fans as intensely as Mel Gibson's astonishing proclamation regarding Hollywood's purported assault on the potent essence of cinematic liberty. One example, this one's fairly tame for television. A gut full of the whole industry. I mean, it's a very strange place, Holly Weirdwood. Uh, <laughs> but it's, um, it's an odd place. And you, you imagine all these horror stories there that you think, boy, it seems as if I'm being sacrificed over here. No, that couldn't be true. Well, I think it'll continue to open people's eyes. Uh, what the hell was going on? Because there was a lot of stuff I couldn't understand. Right. And then uh, you realize that it is true. And, and you have to, I just left for a while and uh, took a couple of years off, bought a place down in Australia and started digging holes. And as an emblematic figure within Hollywood, Mel Gibson boasts a narrative-rich career that has garnered both adoration and scrutiny. He transcends the image of a mere superhero, as authentic superheroes seldom don spandex attire. Navigating through the crests and troughs of stardom, his extensive journey in the realm of acting spans several decades, during which he has adeptly ventured into directing, producing, and screenwriting. Nonetheless, it is his recent disclosure about a shadowy conspiracy entrenched within the film industry that has reverberated shockwaves not only across Hollywood, but also into realms beyond. Sound of Freedom, an enthralling cinematic voyage rooted in actual events, portrays the profoundly poignant and valiant chronicle of Tim Ballard, a former agent of the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, driven by an unwavering determination embarks on a relentless mission to liberate victims ensnared in the horrors of human trafficking. What's intriguing is his ability to pose inquiries that might never have crossed one's mind. The film's compelling storyline endeavors to illuminate the distressing reality of contemporary enslavement. However, its resounding message of truth and justice appears to have incited a vehement backlash from influential quarters within the realm of entertainment. Mel Gibson's allegations are chilling to the core implying the existence of a covert endeavor to stifle the movie's potential impact and hinder its widespread distribution. At this juncture, when the industry grapples with concerns of transparency, accountability, and equitable representation, the cautionary statement from the actor-director carries substantial weight. As a well-regarded veteran in the field, Gibson's words hold considerable significance, demanding heed from both those entrenched within the industry and the broader public. As per reports, Gibson asserted that the film's focal theme played a pivotal role in capturing the attention of particular influential figures who harbored intentions of stifling its message. Gibson's cautionary statement underscored how delving into the reality of human trafficking, no matter how earnest the effort, inevitably carries the potential to inadvertently stumble and provoke reminders from one's own children later on. This uncanny resonance might hit uncomfortably close to the hearts of certain influential personalities in Hollywood. But what exactly lies beneath their efforts to conceal? Could it be that the film threatens to expose links to real-life scandals that some are eager to shield from scrutiny? The film's potent message stands as a guiding light of hope for those engaged tirelessly in combating human trafficking. However, the response from Hollywood appears to lean more toward apprehension than solidarity. The question arises, why? It's imperative to acknowledge that not everyone within Hollywood opposes the sound of freedom. While numerous individuals within the industry have exhibited their endorsement of the film's pivotal message, it's the actions undertaken by the influential minority that trigger both curiosity and apprehension. Through the act of spotlighting this matter and scrutinizing the responses from Hollywood, our objective is to cultivate a discourse that fosters transformative shifts, openness, and responsibility. Films like Sound of Freedom wield a vital role in unmasking the somber truths of our world. Instead of resisting their impact, Shouldn't we be amplifying their message to safeguard the vulnerable? Mel Gibson's recent support for the film Sound of Freedom has reignited interest in a 1998 interview where the actor eloquently voiced his concerns regarding the darker aspects of the entertainment industry. The resurfaced interview garnered widespread attention after the film's release. Gibson, a staunch advocate for Sound of Freedom, actively used his social media platforms to promote the movie, urging people to watch it. However, the film's debut was marked by turbulence, as reports circulated of audience members purportedly being compelled to vacate their seats for various reasons, and theaters allegedly experiencing air conditioning shutdowns. Sound of Freedom narrates the life of Tim Ballard, depicting his valiant global efforts against child sex trafficking. 
While the interview itself did not overtly touch upon the themes of the movie, Elijah Schaffer, the film's producer and host of the slightly offensive podcast, took to Twitter on Sunday. He shared a tweet that sought to connect the dots between the two, expressing his surprise at the connection. Yeah, no, he was amazing. And then he was really hit and destroyed on that. I was, and I was too. I was like, what are you doing? He begins before elaborating on the content of the attached video, which is related to Mel Gibson's Sound of Freedom. The true essence of his concerns emerged in 1998 as he forewarned about the sinister underbelly of Hollywood. He presciently anticipated how the industry would turn against him, subtly implying that some actors might metaphorically embody malevolent forces. His insights into something profoundly ominous, coupled with his desire to uncover it, imbue his voice with an unsettling gravity, as Schaffer expounded in his tweets. Schaffer parenthetically places Sound of Freedom alongside Gibson's name, hinting at a possible link to the film. However, it's essential to underscore that the actor's participation appears confined to his role in promoting the movie via social media. There is no discernible indication of any deeper involvement. The shared video contains edited excerpts from a 1998 episode of Hollywood Conversations' I Just Came Back. The clip features British film director Mike Figgis engrossed in dialogue with Mel Gibson. In the conversation, Gibson delves into his peculiar, almost paranoid suspicions about Hollywood upon his initial arrival. He grappled with perplexing thoughts, questioning whether his perception of certain behaviors and actions was misguided, or if there could be something more sinister beneath the surface, only to later realize the unsettling truth. In hindsight, it became apparent that you had been remarkably accurate in your assessments, he acknowledged. He highlighted that some of the most unsettling scenarios that appeared to be mere nightmares at the time had, in fact, a basis in reality. He alluded to Snopes, a website that shared a comprehensive transcript of the complete Hollywood Conversation episode, offering crucial context for the excerpts from Gibson's quotes that had gained viral traction. Throughout his journey in Hollywood, Gibson has encountered both moments of triumph, including two Academy Award wins and challenges. These challenges encompass his arrest and the regrettable incident of a drunken anti-Semitic outburst in July 2006. Meanwhile, the movie Sound of Freedom has been shrouded by the veil of secrecy, guarded by the Hollywood elites. The film's content lays bare influential figures within Hollywood, a revelation that remains largely unknown to the public. A handful of celebrities within Hollywood have taken a stand against this suppression, yet they find themselves grappling with immense pressure and opposition to keep these truths concealed from the broader audience. Amidst this discourse, the issue at hand has ignited extensive debates and speculative discussions. It has come to light that certain billionaire elites within Hollywood have been implicated in suppressing the film. Originally intended as a vehicle to raise awareness about child trafficking and pedophilia, the distressing aspect is that some of these individuals wield significant influence over streaming platforms. The unfortunate truth is that one of these influential figures is associated with a streaming service, including Hulu, Netflix, and Amazon Prime. These platforms have chosen to withhold the film from distribution, citing concerns over its content. This situation has ignited a broader conversation regarding the prioritization of movies that address critical societal issues, rather than remaining confined to fictional narratives. Amidst this backdrop, Mel Gibson has taken a personal stand, leveraging his social media platforms to promote the film. His intention is to prevent the movie from being hindered by the machinations of the Hollywood elite who seek to advance their agendas by suppressing the portrayal of realities within the industry. Regrettably, the film has encountered significant resistance and backlash from these very elites, culminating in its unfortunate blacklisting. Nevertheless, prominent figures like Mel Gibson, Jim Caviezel, and Mark Wahlberg are actively engaged in a commendable endeavor to cleanse Hollywood of its detrimental practices and malevolent elites, striving to establish a safe haven for all. Mel Gibson's cautionary statement regarding Hollywood's assault on Sound of Freedom serves as a vivid reminder of the formidable power and sway held by a select few within the industry. It is imperative that we persist in our pursuit of truth, illuminating critical matters, and uniting against exploitation and injustice. A user shared a poignant sentiment, expressing that it's disheartening when the mere act of speaking the truth becomes mired in controversy. Another user conveyed gratitude towards Mel Gibson, drawing inspiration from his audacity, appreciating his resolute actions, and finding humility in his compassion and integrity. Recognizing that corrupt individuals often attempt to quell the truth, 
the plea emerges for divine protection over all involved in the film. A fervent hope is voiced for justice to prevail, dismantling the nefarious forces at play. So, that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.